had seen Dr. Baker speak at the Women's Chamber of Commerce of Texas event. Um, so I was really excited to come here and um, listen to her speak um, some more. I have picked up a copy of her book, The Ten Do's and Don'ts for Business Leadership, and it's really taught me as a young person what kind of leader I want to be in business. And she's a really great role model, and I got to sit in the front row. But I did want to talk to you about how we can all be better, stronger, more effective leaders right where we are. That's According to Jack Welch, former CEO of GE, that a remarkable absence of candor in the workforce represents one of the most significant obstacles to company success. He also said, you reinforce what you reward. If you reward candor, you'll get it. Direct, to the point, and offered really critical tidbits that I'll be able to use throughout the rest of my professional career. When men demonstrate candor in the workforce, they're seen as strong, skilled, effective leaders. Women, on the other hand, are seen as cold, uncaring, and difficult to work with. They often receive the not-so-coveted title of being <laughs> you don't ever want to make enemies at the workplace. But why would we want to make enemies anyway? I want us to cheer each other on and, and build each other up and offer authentic mentoring relationships. I found that it's not this glass ceiling that we all think of because a ceiling by design is impenetrable. However, sometimes we stand in our own way from keeping us from advancing. What are your obstacles? What are your successes? Celebrate those. And I've spoken on TEDx stages. And for the last two years, I was the, a finalist for the Texas Businesswoman of the Year Award. I really liked it because it was really concise and to the point and straightforward and I thought that was something that, you know, as um, a young person who is looking to be um, a woman business owner or a female entrepreneur, um, I just thought it was really good to have a clear, concise list of, you know, things to do and things not to do um, to become a great leader. Inspiring people to not let challenges stand in their way and reminding individuals that the experiences you face in life shape who you are and where you go and where you can can be, where you can end up. It was inspiring. It's always good to hear stories of other successful women. It reminds you um, what you need to keep in mind and stay focused on. The best thing that you can share with your coworkers are you know, be that leader, set those good examples. Don't participate in the negative self-talk or the negative self-talk or, or negative talk of others. Set an example and be who you say you're going to be and do what you say you're going to do.